Hello and welcome to Samples for Schools Fish Dissection. This dissection aims to look at the fish gills and how they're used in gas exchange. I'm going to be dissecting an entire mackerel. Your sample can be of a larger fish and just the head if you'd prefer. In order for the fish to obtain oxygen from the water, it takes water in through its mouth and out through the operculum, the gill cover, forcing the water over the gill. So we can show the direction of the water movement by opening up the mouth structure and watching the flow out through the gill cover. The direction of water is maintained by the opening and closing of the fish mouth, which can change the pressure inside the buccal cavity. The floor of the mouth can move up and down to increase the pressure and force the water down through the gills. To examine the fish gills, we can remove the gill flap, the operculum. And this can be done simply by cutting down with the scalpel. Once the operculum has been removed, we can see the full gill structure underneath. You can then make incisions to remove this entirely as well. The structure of the gills are made up of these gill filaments which increase surface area for gas exchange and are held by the gill arch. When the fish gills are in air, you can see that the filaments clump together and it has a reduced surface area. When you put them in water, the filaments fan out, much like a feather. This gives maximum surface area for gas exchange. Following on from your gill dissection, you can also cut down laterally to explore the skeleton and find the swim bladder. For more ideas, lesson plans and risk assessments, please see our website www.samplesforschool.co.uk.